Good evening, everybody. <laughs> Small but mighty audience. Yeah. Thanks for being here. This is super exciting. Um, I think I know everybody, but just in case, my name is Nick and I play viola. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to David Crivet and Chamber Music NY for hosting this wacky concert, Dream Collider. I'm really excited to present songs from my album for you. The songs are a collection of experiments and uh, escape routes that I used during the pandemic to um, get out of the dread of all those horrible headlines we were seeing every single day. Uh, so these songs are ironically time stamps for me to look back and remember where I was during those times and what was happening. Uh, we're going to blast off with a, a song called uh, Launchpad, which was inspired by one of my favorite video games growing up. Noticed, uh, you may have noticed there's uh, some video components happening. <laughs> um, I don't know which I like more, the video or the music, but uh, I would love to know what happened to that guy in there. Why did he go crazy and start dancing on his like mission to Mars or wherever he was going? Um, the next song is near and dear to me. It was written for a friend. Uh, whose mother passed, and I wanted to honor that. I wanted to write something not sentimental, not sappy, but something really positive and upbeat. Um, I really love this idea that when we go, our souls are free to roam the universe as we please. All of the photos in the video our courtesy of NASA, various NASA missions, including um, Cassini and Voyager, Voyager 2, Hubble, and uh, James Webb. There's probably more, too. You can go get them. They're really beautiful um, photos, and uh, this is called Godspeed.
Okay, we're going deep now. Yep. Uh, <laughs> one of the things I love about um, this sort of concept of, of dreams and, um, you know, at least what it does for me is it can make things that are very familiar seem very unfamiliar and very uh, foreign all of a sudden, even though I know I've seen these things before. So this um, song, Submerge, is really just an ambient soundscape and it had a very aqua quality, so I wanted to find video that felt really immersive. And all the video you're gonna see is from NOAA, which is the National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration. They're smart, you know, science people that send submersibles and down to video shit and, you know, <laughs> find fish and things. But uh, anyway, a lot of these creatures, <laughs> you've definitely seen them before, but they've never looked so foreign. They've never looked so alien. And so this idea of having familiar things seem unfamiliar and foreign all of a sudden is what I like about this song.
Thank you. Yeah, the next one is uh, <clears throat> a little bit difficult for me to share. It's a true story. It's a, it's a documentary, actually. Um, this happened. This really happened to me over the summer, and uh, a traumatic event. It's hard, hard for me to share this, but um, you know, it's time. It's time that this came to light. It is. Uh, it's the right thing to do. And I don't care if you believe me or not that this happened. This really happened. Um, and I feel like this is important to share because others may feel empowered to share their stories as well. And I want people to feel free to speak out. It's this contact. Earthling, what are you eating? Um, potato chips? Are they good? Hmm, yeah, they're good. Describe them for me. Ah, oh, man, potato chips are cut really thin. They're deep fried until they're crispy and golden. And they're loaded with salt, packaged in these convenient little bags. I wish to try these potato chips. Potato chips now. Ah, oh, sorry, bro. I finished this bag while we were listening to the music. You're gonna have to start a new one. Where can I get a bag of potato chips? I got one right here. Here you go. How do I access the potato chips? You just gotta open the bag. I cannot open the bag. The bag is not opening. How do you open the bag? That can be tricky sometimes. Seriously, how do you open these bags? Yeah, it, it really depends on the type of bag. Some of them uh, rip from the side, uh, which I don't like as much as the other kind, which is where you pull the two parts opposite directions from each other and the top kind of splits open. That's usually the preferred method. But in any case, the bag never reseals, so you gotta eat the whole bag at once. I do not understand you earthlings. How many chips do you even get in a bag? Ah, uh, yeah, there's usually less chips than you want. Uh, usually you usually want more chips, but the bags are packed with air so that they don't break in transit. You get nice, crispy, whole chips. Otherwise, you end up with a pile of crumbs. Let me be clear, Earthling. If I do not get chips in my nutrient intake orifice by the time the song is over, I will blow up the Earth.
Beth, here, I got you. Here's a bag, it's open. I opened it for you. Really? Yeah, it's for you. Please, take it and don't blow up the earth. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Give him the fat free kind. <laughs> Dumbass. Anybody uh, relate to that? <laughs> um, getting just a little bit of high-end feedback on this stage, uh, just on the last one. Um, so the next one is, uh, is kind of a true pandemic project for me. Um, I really wanted to score a film. I had never done that before, and it interested me because I realized at some point in the last few years that I'm a very visual kind of person. Like I, I sort of see music almost more than I hear it. And I wanted to explore what it would be like to put sound to uh, visuals as opposed to the other way around. So I went all over YouTube, I muted everything, I didn't want to hear anything, and I just searched for like short animated films mostly. I didn't have a lot of Foley, didn't have a lot of dialogue. And I came across this beautiful film by Michael Dudok DeWitt. I love the animation style. It's plain and textural, you can see the paper but it provides enough detail that you can fill in all, all of the, uh, the situations for yourself. And I think it makes it actually so that you can kind of put yourself in the situation um, and p possibly you know, be invited to relate to the, uh, the film. I would say the film is about loss. It's, um, it's pretty tender. And um, I just found it so interesting that even without dialogue, and anything like that, the sound really, for me, took on the, the character, the literal character in the film. And I learned a lot about film scoring just in this one uh, experiment um, where the sound would sometimes be too present or too active, even though there was no dialogue, literally nothing else competing with the sound. It was still kind of take away from the, the visual. So in my edits and revisions, I ended up cutting away a lot of stuff. And I just really enjoyed the process of finding a balance um, between active and static and trying to figure out ways of enhancing the story without taking away from it. So uh, this is Father and Daughter. It was made in 2000, and I believe it won an Oscar for Best Animated Film, the Short Animated Film.
My, uh, <clears throat> I have a little, very small YouTube channel. Nobody really knows about it. I'm not intentionally keeping it a secret, but uh, I guess that's just the way YouTube works. Um, <laughs> uh, this video that I posted, the, the father-daughter film, uh, has gotten some attention, and it's been so lovely just to hear from random people I don't know with really wholesome, beautiful comments, like relating to the story, and you know, I have a daughter, and we, play, we ride bikes together, all this stuff is beautiful. And more recently, I had a couple, <laughs> a couple trolls visit uh, my <laughs> page and leave some comments, and I was like, should I engage? And I never engage with trolls, but I really couldn't resist, because the one guy, two days ago, said the original was way, comma, way better. <laughs> with like 10 A's, I was like, in third grade or something. Um, and the second guy, just a day later, who, I don't know if they're guys, let, they're guys, I mean, right? Um, yeah. Uh, I, I feel like it's the same person because literally years this video has been up and nothing except all of a sudden in two days. So this guy said like, how could you, you know, defile, I think he used the word defile this beautiful film by ripping off the score and adding your own garbage. Wow. <laughs> and I was just like, I really want to write back. But Dude. so I, I wrote back and I just said, you know, the original still exists. It's not like I went in and destroyed it <laughs> and mine's the only version left. Because um, I think he was confused about that. He thought I had made the only version available <laughs> with my score. So I, I, you know, I helped him figure that out. And uh, 
Actually, I got an email. I emailed this to Michael, to Dr. Wynn. He, he liked what I did, so that's cool. I like that. Um, so we're moving on to uh, a different format of performance. These are three songs that I've had for a few years now. Um, two of them are on the album. This next one was on my first album, Letters to My Future Self. It's called Mega Blip and also inspired by video game music. I think the original loop was like 30 seconds and I expanded this out. Um, these are auto loopers, which means uh, the program I'm using is gonna live sample my sound and spit it back out at random times. Um, hopefully, you know, in an effort to make some really cool layers and textures. The risk is if I uh, screwed up, um, <laughs> you'll hear that <laughs> over and over again. But this, uh, this technique came out of a um, kind of a love for chamber music, you know, it's more fun to play with sort of active parts, and this was, at the time, a, a compromise I, I made uh, to, to be able to play with sound that was still, you know, fresh in my mind and, and things I, could f I felt like I could react to. Um, shout out to Ramon Castillo, professor at University of Masters Lowell for showing me how to do this auto looper stuff.
I guess this next one is kind of, for me, the heart of the album. It's called A Dream Within a Dream. And for me, it really explores the nature of reality. Um, I don't know about you, but when I have dreams, actual dreams, like when I'm sleeping, and I remember <laughs> them. Not life dreams, I'm talking about it's sleeping dreams. <laughs> uh, you know, it's, they're weird. You wake up and you realize like, wait, all that stuff that happened in the dream is, is totally impossible. It's physically impossible. It doesn't make any sense. And yet, in a way it happened because you remember it. And so this, uh, this video especially kind of challenges what we think we're observing. It challenges our senses and hopefully will transport us to a very far away, possibly confusing, dreamlike place.
Thank you. Well, you guys, we made it. We're going to do the last one now. <clears throat> Isn't that exciting? Acorns. I can't play acorns. acorns. I never acorns. made acorns. <laughs> acorns, yeah, acorns. Acorns is from my first album, Letters to My Future Self. You got to buy the app. Is that Pauline? Yeah, it is. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> um, sorry, no acorns today. Uh, I'm sorry. Well, I do have, uh, so I do have the CD. I have Letters to My Future Self. I have Letters to My Future Self. I have Dream Collider. And I have some public quartet CDs, too. Um, Curtis, maybe you want to buy a public quartet CD. I'll I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, we got uh, our debut album. Um, Freedom of Faith and What is American, both are Grammy nominated, which I'm very excited about. Just found out about What is American last month. It's so exciting. Yeah. Yes. Um, so anyway, this uh, has been so much fun for me. I'm so happy that you all came out and you know support me and my music. And I'm just like, thank you. We appreciate it. Big shout out to this guy right here, David Crivet, Chair Music NY. Hero to many, not just me, but uh, I will say he jumped through hoops to uh, get me a concert, so I'm, I'm grateful. And I'm grateful to all of you. Love to hear what you uh, think about all this stuff. It's always uh, evolving, it's a big experiment. So, with that said, uh, let's do Flytrap and drink. Yeah! Acorns! <laughs> shut up. Shut up. Acorns! Everybody shut up, okay? Acorns! Flytrap. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Let's drink. <laughs>